Hello and welcome back everybody. I'm Quinlan and I've got I've got quite a couple trade ups if you can see right here. Um I've got four of the same and one of a different one. So I, I hope you enjoy this kind of content. Uh, if you do like it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because I do quite a lot of this kind of stuff. Um but you're pretty much going to want to get some Battle Scarred Arctic Wolves UMPs. This cost me five dollars eighty cents because you get them all for fifty eight cents. I would recommend you buy them all for fifty eight cents and they're all battle scarred. But you can get Swag Seven. You can get the Nova Sticks, there it is, Wild Sticks, and you can get the Arctic Wolf UMP. And I'm pretty sure there's the Negev Lionfish and the Glock Moonrise. But I'd, re I'd I'd just stick with the Negev, the Nova, the Mag 7, and the UMP. But just look around at the skins because their prices do change quite often. Um, so that's going to be the first four of them. And so that's $5.80, as I said. And I can get an Org Stimphillion, I'm just going to call it. And that gives me $3, somewhere just above $3. The Or Mortis if it's battle scarred should give us I'm um, pretty sure six six fifty somewhere there and the USP gives us like seven or eight so this is a s pretty safe trade up but um it's kind of like a fifty fifty on if you're gonna make money or lose money um, and the m amount of money you make isn't as great as the amount of money you lose and the next trade up I'm going to do Actually, I'll go into that one later after I've done these ones. So, use with trade up. Oh, actually, I might go quality. Take, take that one out, and then eight, nine, ten. All right, this is going to be such a high float. Probably, maybe. <laughs> I'm hoping for the USP, and done. Yes, okay, so that's not a high flow. That actually looks kind of bad. But, I mean, I can use it for trading. Uh, or sell it just for some instant cash. But, um, sell on community market. And it is very fluctual at the moment. But, say it goes from like $8. It's it's mostly 7 bucks. Let's just say it's $7 on the dot. $7. Yeah, just 7 bucks. Alright, so I've made money on that one. Now the next trade up. Wait, I think these are all the worst floats, like really low floats. And then it starts going higher. Please be another USP. If it's another USP, that's gonna be crazy. Oh, okay, that just took the boss. <laughs> I mean it looks cool though. It looks cool. And it's not very scratched. What is that? Well worn. Oh, I think I might have I'll I'll check them later. Um, uh, I'm hoping I don't get any field tested because I'm told that they lose you a lot of money. Look at how battle scarred these ones are. I think with these ones I'm going to get field tested so I'm going to use the highest float. I'm actually going to remove that one and then put another high float one. That one. Alright, and... USP! Oh, yes! And this one actually looks good. Look at that. I'm kind of wish I had got a field tested one of that now. <laughs> but I mean, it's Battle Scarred and it looks kind of pretty good, so... Use the trade-up contract. Um, this is this is working out for me pretty well, actually. I've made... I've profited off two of them. One of them I lost. So it's not that much of a bad thing, but it's pretty good. Um, please don't be a field tested or mortis, because if it's field tested or mortis, you do lose money. <laughs> and oh, it's another org. All right, so it seems to be 50/50 of these, and it's a field tested org. All right, I want to actually see how much these are worth. So the field tested one is three dollars, and the this one's also three bucks. So well worn and field tested don't seem to change. 
Alright, um, and see seven dollars forty and seven dollars forty one because they're both the same. And now this last trade up that I've got, this this is actually pretty good. Um, the last trade up that I've got, uh, Battle Scarred Apocalyptos, but you can also go with a um, P two fifty Acid. I don't know what that is. I've already made a video on this, but I haven't uploaded it yet. So when that's uploaded, you'll have a background of this one as well. Um, so you can use the P two fifty Acid. You can use a Sawn Off Apocalypto. The Scar 20 Enforcer, I think, is a little bit pricey. Uh, you don't want to use the SSG Fever Dream, because that's also pricey. But the SG553 Darkwing, that's also pretty cheap now. But this one cost me a dollar... F it's a dollar... 20 for the skins, but... Like, a dollar 20 to a dollar 30, somewhere around there. So I spent, let's just say, $13 for this. And I can get either an AK Phantom Disruption, a MAC-10 Discotech, and a MAG-7 Justice. So far I've also already got the AK and the MAC-10, so... Hopefully... <laughs> hopefully we get the good old AK again, because if I get the AK, that's just going to be like an immense amount of money. <sighs> Ooh, this one's $13. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this one. I mean, seriously, like, depending on what I get. Oh shit! Oh, is that field tested? Oh, it's battle scarred. Oh my god, that is. All right, so I've just made banks with all of these. Um, some community market. Say twenty bucks. So I spent thirteen, and that's that's just a lot more. <laughs> oh man, I'm so glad this worked out. Oh, I can. All right, I've got like a really nice looking inventory, and that's what I like about this trade up. Because you can get a MAC-10, right, from that trade-up. You can get this AK, which is alright. Like, uh, me personally, it's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. Um, this is a really nice float for it as well, I think. Yeah, 0 0.4. So it's alright. But it doesn't look that scratched, except for here. And then you can also get the MAG-7 Justice, I think. But that looks just as cool as the MAC-10, I reckon. Um, they're both sick. And then this one, you get Nort Mortis, which is like a, a an alright skin. It's pretty good, I reckon, for... Um, Maybe not a pink, but it's it's a pretty good skin. The Org Stimphilian? Stim... Stim... Yeah, Stimphilian. It's it's an alright skin. I probably would never buy it. But I mean, I've got it now, so I, I might actually keep that, because it looks pretty cool on this... It actually looks really cool. That's a really nice skin, and it's got like all this unique looking dudes. <laughs> and then you can get a USP as well, so you get the USP... Cortex, they look sick, especially if you get it at the right float. I mean, that one's not as good, but still, people like it. Uh, and then, those are pretty much the skins you can get from these trade-ups. And if you actually get the Orp Mortis, um, the best part about this trade-up with the, the Clutch Collection one is that you can do it a lot because it only costs $5. So, you can basically do... Oh, I've just had a brain fart, wait. So you can do four of them for 20 bucks. And then you can get worst outcome, $9. So that's like less than half. But best outcome, crap ton. <laughs> and then if, if you're not into selling, like I'm, I don't really like to sell skins, but if I need Steam funds to do trade-ups like this, then I'll sell them, but I normally end up trading them, and that's how you end up with like knives and sick as skins like a. Uh, it's gone. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. End up with sick as skins like an AK and stuff like that. Uh, some people are really nice and just trade like really good stuff for quite cheap actually. I mean, like you'd be surprised. You don't. Some people don't actually want too much, but um, yeah. If you're really into trading, I'd recommend this trade up. But if you're into making money, I'd recommend like both of these trade ups. But you have to be careful with this one because there's a 60% uh, chance you lose and 30% chance you make money. So it's like, it's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, thank you very, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoy this kind of content. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. You don't have to comment, but I would like to know your thoughts on this kind of content and to give me pointers up on what I can improve on and what I don't need to improve on. But uh, other than that, have a lovely day, everyone.